I want to turn uh, now to the Theater at Orange, which is one of the most spectacular monuments that I'm going to show you uh, today. And you see it in this extraordinary uh, view from the air. Uh, a, a building that you can see from your monument list was put up uh, in the late first century BC, early first century AD, and it is really something special. Uh, not only in its own right, uh, but also because of how well preserved it is. And you can see in this view uh, not only the typical, uh, the typical scheme that we have seen as we've become accustomed to for Roman theater design, the semicircular orchestra, the semicircular cavia, the division into these wedge-shaped sections, or cunei, uh, the, uh, the outer wall of the structure. And you should be immediately struck by this outer wall of the structure, because the outer wall of the structure is better preserved than any other outer wall that we've seen in the course of this semester. It's preserved to its full height. It is very severe. Uh, but that severity would have been lessened in antiquity by the incorporation of a colonnade on the front of the structure. Uh, so this very important building uh, in that regard, because we again have this very well preserved wall, which gives us a good sense of what these walls would have looked like in antiquity. And you have to imagine here uh, the um, again that that alleviation uh, of this of this severity by that portico. You can also see here, though, something very interesting about this particular theater uh, that, uh, that makes it connected, although it's Roman in every way, uh, that connects it also to earlier Greek theatrical architecture. Because you'll remember that the major difference between uh, Roman theaters and Greek theaters was that Romans built their theaters on their own hill made of concrete, but the Greeks built their theaters on hill, actual natural hillsides. Uh, and if you look very carefully at this excellent view from the air, you will see uh, the way in which this particular theater at Orange is actually built into a hillside. They happen to have a natural hillside perfect uh, for this kind of construction right where they wanted it to be. So they took advantage of that hillside and they uh, placed, they supported the cavea of this structure by that hillside.